Okay, so this is the follow-up kind of review of my previous one where I did the unboxing, took it out, looked it up, kind of hooked it up, kind of tested it, didn't have any clue what I was doing. We've had the uh, Amcrest camera now, oh, how long has it been? It's been almost a week, I think, a little over a week. And I would show it to you. There we go, <laughs> if I could find it. Um, so I have the Mcrest Ultra HD 4K PoE, or Power Over Ethernet camera. Um, it is 4K. It's got a huge field of view left and right. It's kind of small up and top, uh, top to bottom, depending on you know what you're using it for. I want to say it's 110 degrees. No, 112 degree viewing angle. So it's pretty wide. Trust me, <laughs> it's a wide angle view. I got more of my neighbor's yard than I really wanted or needed. Um, I'm still going to have to crawl up and adjust it. So at the moment, um, I'm in the Midwest. It snowed just recently, um, just before Halloween. I don't know when you're watching this. Um, it's kind of cold out. So it got put up. It got adjusted where I thought I wanted it. Okay, like I said, I got more of my neighbor's yard than I really want it. So, take that into consideration. So anyway, this is the camera. Um, all the information that's on it. Um, first thing I have to say is, it is awesome. I mean, it really is. I do not have the NV, uh, the recording device, the NVR. All I have is the camera hooked up to a POE router, hooked up to my network which you saw in my first video. This one we're just going to kind of go over the, the field of view, um, how it's been working for me, and I've also learned how to actually use the thing. My first video I, I didn't know anything. These are some other people's reviews on Amazon, but uh, let's just jump right over to the, the web-based version access to your camera. I've already got my username and password in. Go ahead and log in. Takes it a second to load. As you can see, the live is already lit up. And the browser does not support audio, which is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and make this full screen. Or I can't on this one, actually. Thought I could. Okay, so on the web version, I can't go full screen. As you can see over here to the right, I had a whole lot more of my neighbor's yard than I intended. I just needed my yard. I also need to tilt it up because I don't need to see my roof. I don't need to see what's on my deck. I can see that from my other cameras. I want to see from where the deck railing is right here, out. Now, I also would not be opposed to seeing a bit of the skyline up here. That's directly west as you can see the sun is setting over here right now um, but watching storms come in kind of from the north over here in the west kind of cool especially with this good of a quality camera um, so a couple of things the web version which I was kind of looking at on my previous video there's no zoom it it's pretty much is what it is um, you can go to playback cloud storage you can go into the setup can set up your brightness, contrast, everything's in there, your exposure if it's too bright, your BLC, your web B, day night modes, and your infrared light. I left everything at default. I haven't changed any of that. Um, initially I thought it changed too quickly to night mode, but with the shadows and stuff, I guess there was some spots, you know, out in the, the yard I couldn't see if I turned it down, so I put it all back to right out of the box defaults. Working great. Now definitely you can change a lot of your settings, um, how you want it set up, your resolution. I didn't change any of that. Audio is there, and I will show you that, or let you listen to that I guess is the word. And then you can also set up your events. Um, if anything's moving in the area, if you want to do it by audio, if there's sound, you can set it up by how loud it is to trigger it, or any kind of ab abnormality. 
um, someone messes with the camera, your network gets turned on or off, something of that nature. You can also set up your storage, you know, how you want to set it up. Now, I am not using the NVR, like I said. All I have is the onboard memory, memory card on the camera, that's it. Um, you can definitely buy some cloud storage space. They're happy to sell that to you. Um, I'm not interested in that personally. But I have found um, with the recording and the storage, there is no, unless you have an NVR, there is no ongoing, continuous, doesn't stop recording. When the memory card's full, it rewrites itself and starts over. No. With the memory card only, whether you're using your computer or using the app on your phone, if you're watching it, you can click record. It will record a maximum of five minutes. And it will stop. You can click record again if you want. But five minutes is the maximum that I've been able to find to the memory card. So that said, let's switch views. I it's two. Yep. So now this is the app version on the computer, not the web page. And if I get over there, for some reason it's let's get out of full screen. Turn the audio on. That's just the wind blowing across the microphone. Don't want to hear that. Uh, let's go to the plus. So we can zoom in. Once you zoom in, it looks like you're panning. You're not. You're just moving across where you zoomed in. And it's actually starting to get towards dusk. That's why I wanted to do this at this time of night. Hopefully it'll switch over. If not, I'll pause it and come back. But it should switch over to dark mode here in a moment. That's why the image is kind of dark at the moment here. Um, for instance, I can zoom in. Let's say these 1x6s on the deck. They're not as crystal clear as I'd hoped. I haven't found a way to focus. Um, and then there's that. <laughs> zoom back out again. Um, but this fence line and everything to the right is my neighbor's yard. I wasn't necessarily needing all of that to be recorded or viewed. Just my yard in the back of my fence. So when I let my dogs out, I can see them. I have lights. Um, oh yeah, you can't see them. There's one there. There's one there. And there's one over here that you can just barely see. And then I have one in front of the shed. Can't see him in this angle. And then up here on the house, I have a couple as well. So my whole yard is lit up fairly well at night. Um, the zoom thing is it's instant. I don't know why it goes all the way in. So, yes. Yeah, pretty good, decent angle. Left and right, huge. Up and down, it's not as huge. But the view is what I want. I think if I bring the bottom of the camera up where I can see on that rail, I'll be able to see that skyline that I want, plus my entire yard. Plus my neighbor's yard. <laughs> um, like I said, don't necessarily need to see that. Uh, looks like the neighbors behind me are airing out their dirty laundry. Or I guess it'd be clean laundry. They're drying it out. So there's the zoom function. Um, like I said, I didn't know how to use this initially the first time. Um, a bit of a breeze out there, so the wind's just blowing right into the microphone. I suppose if you had this indoors and blocked from the wind, that might be something. You know, you could hear people like at your door, if you have a, an entranceway, or if you put maybe a box around, I don't know what you would do to, to block the wind. But there is that. If the wind's hitting the mic, you're going to hear the wind. It's, it's just how it's going to be. And it's actually a pretty decent... Um, this is set up in my backyard. You can see a street back there in the front of those houses. Same thing in my house on the other side. There's a street. And I can hear cars when they go by. 
not necessarily even loud ones, just, you know, the air going over the car. So that's enough of that. Let's switch over to the, uh, the, uh, the application version that you install on your cell phone. Now I have an Android. I have a Samsung Note 10. Don't think that really makes any difference. Yeah, you can see my code, but then we'll go into the Amcrest app. And loads right up. And the same thing on the, the phone. I had no idea how to use it before. It's really starting to get dark because it's getting to be towards dusk. But you can zoom in. And like I said, I did not know how to do that previously when on my first video. But you can zoom in quite well. Now, of course, now it's getting into where low light conditions. This is where I was talking about with the shadows. Now, on my phone, it's not as good. On the computer monitor, it's actually a bit better. Let's see if I can switch. Yeah. So on the computer version, I can still see. I don't want it to switch over to dark mode yet. But on my camera, eh, my camera doesn't have apparently as good of a... Well, let me rephrase that. I did turn it way down because when I have it cranked up, it whites out my camera that you're watching through. But for me, it looks just as good as the one on the computer. But I know it kind of glares out the camera that you're watching through. Trust me, in person, it's, it's much brighter and not as whited out as you're seeing. Um, it actually looks quite good on the cell phone. Actually, I think it looks better than it does on my computer. But let's get out of that. Jump back to the cameras here. Like I said, this is just a follow-up. You can zoom in, you can record um, if you wanted or needed to. If I can get the controls to come up. There they are. I'm doing this through a camera, through a monitor. There it is. So if I want to record, I can turn that on. And it's recording that screen. You saw that notification. And it's recording to the memory card. We'll play that back here in a second. <laughs> now you can see him. Doesn't do a whole lot. He likes to be outside. All right, so we want to turn this off. Thank you. Back to live view. And as you can see, it's switched over to night mode. There are no lights on my deck. <laughs> That's just how bright it is up close. And then that fence line back here, I guess I didn't go over that earlier. That's about 85 feet from the camera. Let's see if I can get the, the zoom to work here for me. Yeah, so now that it's switched over to night mode, black and white, that's how it looks pretty much when completely black. Now it's not completely black out now. And then again, once I get this up off the roof, because on the roof here it's probably only about five feet away, and it's just reflecting so much light onto it that it uh, kind of focuses, kind of like right in here between the awning and the fire pits where it's focusing. And I want it to focus out here more towards the tree in the middle of the yard. So once I get rid of the snow and ice on my roof, and it's a little warmer, I'll crawl up there and adjust the angle of it so that it's tilted more to the right. Um, but as far as night vision, you can kind of see the trellis there. And it's actually showing up fairly well. It's not total dark outside, pretty close. You see my duck, oh, went too far. You see my duck on the table. <laughs> so all in all, extremely happy with the camera, the quality, 
Um, can't read a license plate with it. That's kind of what I was hoping to be able to do. I was hoping the screen on my front window in my previous video was the reason. Can't quite zoom in that well. It's not that good. Um, not saying it's not good, just saying it's not it's not made to do that. And Amcrest does have one. If you want to read license plates, they have one made to do it. Um, not per se what I'm wanting. One thing I want to show you though, nothing to do with Amcrest. I have another set of security cameras. You can go back through and see my views uh, review on those. Um, but they are over here. This is my deck that's underneath where that top camera is up there. Let's see if I can zoom in on just him. In my deck, you could probably get a sunburn in the middle of the night with those two cameras lighting it up. It is dark out there, but it looks like <laughs> between both cameras hitting on it, it is quite bright. And then this is out front. Uh, apparently some trick-or-treaters are thinking about coming up my driveway. Anyway. But yeah, the deck, like I said, just looks like it's really lit up. And I think it's more or less the infrared from this camera, the one from Amcrest. But it's also lighting up my roof. There's no light up here. It's pretty dark. I know the sky shows it's lit up, but yeah, that's just overclass clouds. Not sure why they're so bright. Nice. It's all I can say. I'm actually really impressed with the with the camera, the, the software that comes with it. I think it's got really good functions. Um, they're not all as intuitive as I would have. Using a DVR or an NVR like I'm used to has all this set to it. You don't have all the other stuff on setting it up, configuration, all that, because it just does it. Um, using the computer-based version, you have to set it all up. I'm not saying it's difficult by any means. You can also set up a PC um, NVR if you want. Don't record to your own computer that you're using. Set up a server. Um, FTP it to FileZilla. Um, Amcrest has a video on how to do that. It will murder your computer for 4K video just on one camera. Never mind having two or four or six cameras. It has to be a dedicated server for just recording. Uh, <laughs> you try to do it on your computer and try to open a web page, it's going to take a half an hour to open. Uh, don't even bother. Alarms, you can set those up. Um, the other thing I'm not too fond of is it just leaves these all open. But let's go back. I thought there was, yeah, there's the configuration for the alarms. You can import, export views. And let's go back to live view. And tell it we want to view. I'm searching, there he is. Oh, you can see shadows. I didn't realize those would show up on my recorded camera so well. Well, that actually acts like it's coming from this way. Actually, you know what? I'm going to run out there. And I'll be right back. You'll be able to see me. And then I will turn the lights on so you can see those. Won't be able to hear me, but...
So that was interesting. When I first walked out, all the lights are off, as you probably could tell. Puppy came out with me. And then now, um, you can see those lights are on, like I said, where I was pointing those out. Those three, and then there's a couple up on the house. That's what it looks like when it lit, is lit up. Now, I had misspoke earlier and said that the cloud line um, was lit up. Nope. It's dark out there. <laughs> um, it looks like their yard does now. But I have my lights on, so it lights up my yard fairly well. Yeah, we had a... Uh, the wind damaged this fence pretty bad between our yards. We got the gate up. But we got to replace the rest of the fence. The uh, snow and cold weather kind of interfered with that. There's not much snow on the ground. There's some up on my roof still and some up on these roofs. Hopefully this weekend, this coming weekend, we'll get that all gone and get up there and get everything fixed, get that fence done. But yeah, I'm actually impressed with these. really good quality video I mean you're not gonna read somebody's you know license plates um, you're not gonna be able to see somebody's eyes whether they're open or closed if they're sitting back there by the fence it's just not that kind of a camera so I wanted to zoom in a little what I didn't do before I can see that trellis I have a clematis that grows there in the summer Rose bush is doing good. There's these shadows back here is what I was wanting to make sure. There's still a little bit over the lilac, but I can still see if my puppies are out there. And then my other camera goes out here across the front. Um, I guess I can flip back to that real quick. Give me a second. What's that? Three? I think it's three. Yeah, so this one, yeah, so I can see in front of the shed and all this up here to my side of my deck, spa, my whole deck, obviously, I can see. So I only need to see from this armrest, or armrest, arm rail out to the west. That's all I need to see on this camera. And actually, I can see quite a bit, I guess, at the end of the ramp. I didn't realize that. So definitely worth it all right let's go turn those camp lights off one more time see how much we can see now we know right in here there's some laundry it's over here by the door we go turn those lights off That's what it looks like in total darkness. I mean, it's not total darkness. There's a couple of street lights on the back side of the block. Um, the neighbor behind my house there to the left, you can see he's got his kitchen light and a bedroom light, it looks like, on. Um, that's this over here I'm talking about. And then their lights are on. It looks like they got their porch light on over there. The only thing I can figure from those shadows, because that's dark to the naked eye, is the light from this camera must be hitting the deck. Oh, my other camera is over here to the right. I bet its infrared is shining through, and that's why those shadows look like that. It's also a lot lower. It's underneath the, the rail. Huh. Interesting. this is well I don't want to say total darkness but pretty close and then of course I could probably clean that up if I wanted to if I 
So I want to say it was 164 feet film view or infrared view, if I remember right. It just looks like there's shadow. Oh, because the camera's being blocked by it. Yeah, so that's my lower camera making this light and those shadows that only an infrared camera can see. That's, that's kind of cool. Really, my neighbor's out working in his garage. <laughs> All right, done rambling. You've seen night vision, day vision. You can zoom in on the app. You can zoom in on the, the program on the computer. The web-based version, as far as I can tell, you can't zoom, but you can play back and access your SD card better. And all in all, if you're just wanting to just keep an eye, like in my case, I want to keep an eye on my puppies in the backyard, make sure what's going on. You could also set it up front like I had previously. You can definitely see cars. You may not be able to read a license plate, but you'll be able to make out what kind of car it was, what color it was, how many doors, if it was a four-door truck or a two-door or a truck with an extended cab. You'll definitely be able to see that. And then obviously someone walking up and down the, the sidewalk or the street, you'd be able to see them very well. So that is about it for this camera review. I'm not sure why it zooms in instantly like that. It's just all the way out. Just all the way out. <laughs> yeah, and over here is like total dark to the naked eye. I mean, obviously, the infrared light the cameras can see, but to the naked eye, you can't even see that from my deck in the darkness. It's completely black. Yeah, it looks like over here, see? I might have to tweak with the settings. I mean, I can see the fence line. I can see the tree. I have no idea what that streak was. Could have been a bug flying in front of it. But I can't see my lilac tree over here in the corner. I can see one of my shepherd's hook right there. I can kind of see the trellis back there in that right corner. Very nice. I'm happy with it. Amcrest Surveillance Pro software. Amcrest Surveillance Camera. Uh, those streaks, just noticing, they have to be bugs or something. But thank you. Excellent, excellent camera and software. <laughs>